Well, the very first thing I spotted is down here. And it's this, the neck of a cod bottle. And it's not broken, look. And uh, you can actually see that, look, the cod marble. So, first mission of the day is to release this cod marble from her glassy prison. Do you know what? I was just going to say glassy prison. Glassy prison, yeah, I like that. <laughs> And I can see it was already fractured, so it didn't need much of a tap. And there we go, first find is a cod marble. But actually, yeah, look, we'll cover this up. Yeah. Alex just fell down a booby trap. The ground's collapsed underneath her. <laughs> it's like a mudlark's trap. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that bead that I found, though. That's oh, like wow. Long Oh, that's bead, strange. Isn't it odd? I don't think we've found a bead like that before. Oh, I like that. It's cool. Isn't no, it? that's a first, I think. Anyway, you've spot something behind me. So yeah, I'm... I have, but you can get it because um, I'm not I'm falling stuck. down the trap. I'm going to have to put these away. Hold on. I'm going to zoom in. I have to take my glove off. Let's see if it's whole. Oh. Oh. Ah. Don't fall down the bank because oh. I want that thing that you can that I spotted. Here? Yeah. What is it? Oh, it is. It's a little cup. I can't get to you because I don't want to fall down that trap. I don't want to either. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, I'll turn this off and let you get over. Okay, here it is. Oh, look, it's a little cup. I spotted that from quite a distance and it was just like that much sticking out. But you just get an eye for these things. Oh, I love it. I love dolls things that'll go in our little hanging dresser. Really nice. Yay. Hello. Hello. Okay, so last time we went struggling through the undergrowth, <laughs> we enjoyed it so much that we decided to come and have another go. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, so here we are in some like woods yeah. with undergrowth. You can see lots of trees, lots of branches. <laughs> and we have we've been here before but not for a very a long very ago, long time. Yeah. Like it's been over a year. Yeah. And it looks like there's been some activity here. So uh let's, let's do, do it. it. So uh, more finds down here and it's a pipe bowl and I recognised it's got some sort of face on it. Something on that side. Oh, it's got something written on there. I don't want to rub it because, yeah, look, there's some bloke with a, actually looks like one of those hats. You know that they've got like a tassel on top? A fez. Looks like a man wearing a fez and um, there's something on the other side. Looks like it's got something written under there. Oh, and you know what we've actually brought today? We've brought some spray, some water spray. The, for the first time, see if we can, uh, yeah, see what's on there while we're here. And there's another pipe there, look. It's a heart pipe. Oh, and um, mum's found the evidence of someone <laughs> having been digging here. Well, actually the evidence is this massive hole. <laughs> but thankfully they've left behind us some treasures. Plain. It's quite a steep bank here. So yeah, it's a struggle. But it's worth it. We got used to walking on slopes. A bit like mountain goats, really. Um, it'd be handy if one leg could be retracted a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I forget I said that. Hmm, what's this? Oh, actually, what is it? Yeah, it's made of pottery. It's broken off that end, but this end's been like a... 
I don't know. It's something. I quite like it, so I'm going to keep it. I have no idea what it is. Oh, under there. Clay marble. Glazed one. And there's another clay pipe just resting there. I'll we'll see if there's anything on it. Otherwise, it looks like it's got a bit of a chip. No. We'll leave that one. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, it's keep still going. The rest at the bottom. See, that's what happens when things erode out the bank side. They tumble all the way to the bottom. So, generally quite a good place to look. Oh, what's that? It's a funny shape and it looks shiny. Oh my goodness. Is that a bead? Is it glass? Oh my goodness, I think I just found a really strange bead. Is it glass? Hold on, I'm going to tap up my tooth. It's glass. I think it's a, a black glass bead. A very elongated bead. Oh, I like that. It's almost like disguised with its colour and it being all muddy. Yeah, um, interesting little selection of finds on this uh, steep bank. It's quite surprising, really. It's a clay marble, another one. Oh, it is. Another clay marble. It's beautifully glazed, it's nice and smooth. Surprising to find marbles on a bank side because you think they would have rolled down to the down there to the bottom. This is such a steep hill. It's very difficult navigating because you've got this. This is elder. And it's all over here. Dead branches. Oh, it snaps very easily though. Struggle, struggle. Okay, just look at this fungus. It's really hard, like wood. <laughs> look at that. It's got like a powdery brown coating on it. I don't know what that is. It looks like puffballs, but is it? Is it puffballs that have gone really hard? I'm not sure, but this one there, it's broken off, look. It's really, or are they galls that were on the wood before it fell? Look how hard it is, it's like, <laughs> can't crush it. Strange. Could that be another marble? A cod marble. Ah, look. Ah, it is. It's got moss actually stuck to it. Off you go. Yeah. Second cod marble, and I've got ooh, I've got two cod marbles and two clay marbles. Not too bad. See something here? It's quite bright. Can you see it? It's quite obvious. We found quite a few of them in the past. It's a knuckle bone. Looks like it's rolled down. Must have tumbled down the bank side. Oh, so um. A few toys then. We've got marbles and a knuckle bone. It's a beautiful blue one. I think it's one of the most common kind of colours we find next to just plain white glazed ones. And uh, there's a pipe bowl look sticking out there. Let's have a look. Oh, what is it? A heart pipe. Of course it is. Oh, but I love that knuckle bone. It's beautiful. I love finding knuckle bones. They're just so joyful little things, aren't they? Okay, I spotted a bead, my first bead of the day, probably my last. It looks like one of those flat ones. It is one of those flat beads. Blue, of course. Oh, I've also found a bead. So yeah, great little bead find. I've also just found a bead, but then um, I saw something up here, and it looks like metal. It looks like bra oh, it's a heart. 
Oh, it's a pin in the shape of a heart. Looks like it's bent. Oh, wow. That's Look at that. Cool. Look at that. Some sort of copper alloy, like pin. It looks like this is bent, so it looks like it yeah. just came straight up. That's I strange. wonder what that was. Grave I decoration? This... I think everything I don't know what it is now. I grave, think grave decoration. decoration. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Mm. I'll have to clean that up when we get home. Might be something uh, um, written on there. Or some sort of pattern or something. Anyway, that tiny bead, where is it? Oh yeah, look, can you see it? There. Isn't that crazy? That little seed bead. How do we get it without... Oh, have I got it? I use my fingernails to get them there. There we go. <laughs> it's tiny. But yeah, this really interesting. Heart-shaped thing. So actually, we were sent some of these all the way from Hawaii by one of our viewers. Um, very, very kindly, and you know who you are, and it's a shwu, it's a man shwu, and hang on, I have to uh, take it away from the camera to open it. So there, look, it's a little receptacle. I've dropped my bead, actually, so that's why I need this to put my beads in, all my little finds, look. So how cool is I'm that? i yours, because I, I have one, but I've left it at home. I'm sure I gave it to you. It must be in your bag somewhere. Okay, so yeah, a great little thing this. And look, it's a shoo. So oh, we're keeping wait. these in our bag. I found it. Oh, Alex oh, has found hers. It's so like different. Slightly different. Both have got shoes on. You can get yours out of there now and put okay. it in yours. Right. Your, yours has got a bit of moss on it. Yeah, because I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> so tiny I can't even get it. Oh, there we go. There we go. How did you even see that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, these are great. And it'll stop us from losing our tiny beads. So thank you. Something you don't see very often in Scotland. A palm tree. Okay, I see a bit of metal here. What's this? Lines on it. Oh, oh wait a minute, it's got some sort of pattern on. Right, I'm going to zoom in but I have to take my glove off so it's a bit of an operation. Look, oh, whoops, can you see that? What is it? Oh wait, what's, what's a building? It's not the Houses of Parliament, is it, or something? Oh, that's strange. <laughs> Looks like Westminster. How strange. Oh, I'm going to take it. It's quite interesting. Interesting shape. There, look. Oh, wait a minute. I think it might be a button of some kind. It's like ceramic. Yeah, I'm focused now. It looks like metal, is it? Is it metal? Or ceramic? Might be some kind of plastic, bakelite? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a button, anyway. I think it is. Is it? You know what? I don't even know. It's uh, something decorative. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think I've found... It looks like an inkwell. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Wait a minute. That looks really familiar. I recognize these bits. It looks like years ago. I think it's years ago now. A couple of years ago, maybe? And I found some inkwells and I sent, I found out who they were made by and I sent them to the people who descended from the person that made them in Canada, I think, and then this looks like the same. It looks the same because I repaired one. That's how I remember. This sort of swivels around and opens and closes there, and they were from school desks. Oh my goodness, what are the chances of finding another one? I wonder if it is by the same person. 
to clean it up and see if there's a name or anything on there. I think there was a name on this bit or that bit. But even if it isn't, that is a great find. I love finding anything like paint pans, ink wells, that sort of thing. Anything to do with writing and painting and art and stuff. So I'm chuffed. I'm so chuffed. Fantastic. I've just spotted something down here, but there's happy noises over there. I think Mum's found something. I think she might have found an inkwell. <laughs> but yeah, the thing that I spotted, where is it? Oh, pipe bowl. <laughs> oh, it's plain. <laughs> oh, Mum's found something interesting though. So. Oh my goodness, that's what you found. Yeah, I think it's. You know. All... That is I crazy. Don't know if you recognize that underneath, look how it's joined on. Yeah. It looks really similar. Yeah, you know, it? I was just going to say, that is that looks almost and exactly look. the same as those ones we found. We found their um, descendant who yeah, was looking for them. To Canada to and we fixed them. Well, yeah, you fi I fixed one. You fixed one, and then we sent them the, pair, the pair we found. To Canada, and we've got pictures of the person, the descendant of the person that made them. Yeah. Them. But now I've got one to keep for myself. I don't oh, know if it's you've the same been person. you've been gifted it, I think, from the. Do you think it's the same person? I think it is. Look, let me see. The design's almost well. From yeah, what I the can twisty remember, top. I oh look, the, top the words I, I on it here. It. Yeah, you, and it has like a little pin here and this twist, and yeah. you can actually see. I think. Look, there's some writing on it there. I think that's mm. the same. Oh my goodness! Found three of these now. Oh, just, that's so cool! For some reason, they keep being no. I, upon I think me. it's because you sent the others away to the descendant so of the guy who made them. So you've been me. you've been gifted one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! Oh, we'll have to get that cleaned up and see yeah. what it actually says. So oh. yeah, that's yeah. really cool. On that happy note, I'm going to say a great big thank you to everyone who has watched this video, who has liked this video, and of course everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We're so close, we're so, this close to reaching 100,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. So uh, thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed already. Um, and yeah, an extra special thank you to our... Our wonderful patrons on Patreon, of course, who help to keep us going every month. Thank you so much. We can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Oh, look. I spotted something down here. Oh, what's that? Is it going to be whole? Look. It's, oh, it is. Oh, it, oh my goodness. It's a paint pan. But look, it's a, it's like a, a big one. It's like a long one. And that's what I spotted first. I'm writing on the back. Windsor and Newton, I think. Windsor and Newton, London. You know what? I love that. It's still got ash in it. I don't know if it's got any paint in. Oh, it might have been blue paint. There's a tiny trace of it in there. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a slight tint of blue. Oh, that's wonderful. A nice long paint pan. I do love finding paint pans. We've got a nice little collection of these in our cabinet of curiosities. Looks like a bit of sponge wear down here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I can't believe what I'm looking at. Is it whole though? Can you see it? It looks like part of a leaf. <laughs> But I can definitely see a little face peeping out there. It is a face. It's a doll's head. Oh my goodness. That's quite horrible. <laughs> but I love it. Oh my goodness, look. Yep. It only a, it's a face only a mother could love. Let's put it that way. But it's great. It's a doll's head. Well, a doll or a figurine. Fantastic. Okay, so I think down here I found not one, but two clay pipes. You know, they like to disguise themselves as leaves. But look. It's got a hand on it. It's a hand pipe. 
its little things missing. And there's another one here. What's this one? I think that one's just plain. Oops, I'm not even... I'm looking at the pipe. I'm not focusing my camera on it. Yeah, that's just a plain one. There's something on there. You know what would be cool? If someone scratched their name on their pipe. You never know. Anyway, yeah, two pipe bowls. Well, look at that. Clean, shiny cod marble just sitting on top of the um, the ash. It's been washed by the rain and tumbled down the hill. So, is what's that? My third cod marble today. It's going to be a cod marble year. I think we found 90 cod marbles last year, if you remember. I think we're going to smash it this year. We've already found so many, over 20 of them, I think. This actually looks like a complete little, like, dish. I think it is. I thought there might have been a crack in it, but I think it's just mud and what have you. So I like, love finding these, actually. I think it's got 1835 marked on the back in gold. So that can't possibly, this, I don't think this, this uh, dish is actually from 1835. It's probably some sort of mould number or pattern number or something. But yeah, wonderful. That'll, um, that'll come in handy. Oh, I was just down here. I found like a few pipe bowls down here. And uh, I think I've just found a bullet. Yes. Look, it looks like it's live. It's a um, 303 round. Oh, wait a minute. That's interesting because it's got like these little grooves in the side. Those little grooves. And I, um, I'm sure that means that it's like a blank, like a training blank. These little grooves in the side means there's nothing in there to go bang. <laughs> That is interesting, actually. I haven't found a complete one of these. I think I found like this bit. Yeah, I think I might take that. I'm not sure if I'd have taken it if it was um, a live one. But yeah, I think I'll take that. It's interesting. <laughs> Bye. Okay, down here is a vulcanite stopper. It's, oh, it's got R Y on it. And I don't know what else it says. But while I'm looking at that, I can see something else. Look. <laughs> it's a clay marble. Clay marble and a stopper, vulcanite stopper. It's a metal-y thing here, what's this? I don't know, I think it's... I don't know, actually. It's got a rim there, like, maybe it's had glass in it. See that rim on the inside? I thought it was something off a pipe at first, but with that rim being on the inside... Don't know. But I'll be able to make something with it because I think it's brass. Cool.
Nobles? Carlisle. Oh, right. We found these before. Not sure in that kind of like shape before though. This kind of uh, screw, machine screw in. <laughs> so this would have been, uh, the round ones would have been screwed in by hand, but these ones with their flat or twisty top would have been screwed in via machine. So uh, apparently, but yeah, it's quite a nice stopper. I might take that one. Don't usually take the vulcanite stoppers these days. My first glass bottle stop of the day, this actually. Oh, and it's a nice um, greenish, like bubbly one as well. And I think this is a spoon. Yeah, it's definitely a spoon. <laughs> it's not silver or anything, but yeah, it's a spoon. Might be able to do something with it. All right, there's another bit of metal here. It's a squiggle, a squiggle of metal, but I don't know if you can see out the top left-hand corner of the screen. <laughs> I think I can see some legs. What's this? It's, yeah. <laughs> Figurine legs. That's funny. Just a nice little pair of 18th century legs, you know. Ooh la la. What's that? An old berry. Mm. Sometimes things hiding under the leaves. Not here though. I think it's obvious what that is, look. It's a handle and I can actually, of course, feel it. Oh, I expected that to be a spoon, but actually it's a fork. <laughs> Go on our um, cutlery collection, which we are going to make a some sort of wind chime out of, I think, because we've got plenty of them to do that with now. You can make quite a a nice little wind chime we'll put outside the yeah actually we are coming to the end of february now Ooh, we're on a bit of a a steep bank it's a little bit precarious here um but yeah spring is just around the corner it's literally like in a few weeks time so um we are so pleased that everything's starting to grow again you're seeing buds and the daffodils and snowdrops are out. Well, not quite the daffodils just yet where we are. Um, the reason I say that is because you can hear the birds today. I don't know if in the background of this video, oh, twigs in the way, you can hear the birds kind of singing and it's just really lovely to be out here in the sun with the birds singing again. Oh, yeah, I'm on a bit of a precarious backside. So um, I'm gonna have to put you down while I traverse this bit here under these trees so oh what treasures have we got over here oh actually i think i might see something hold on let me get past in fact i think i see a few things down here because just as i was going up here to this tree another glass stopple bubber and the other thing i saw here it's really blended in well, but I thought it was a bone toothbrush, but it's not. It's some sort of um, early plastic toothbrush. Well, there you go. And what else have we got up here? What's that? It looks like the edge of some sort of bag. I think that is the, yeah, the bezel of some sort of bag. A little purse, like a handbag. Maybe that's the remains of like a little lock. I'm not 100% sure. If you do know what that's off, I have a feeling it is off some sort of bag. But yeah, a little brassy thing. What's up here? What's this? Oh, it's broken glass. <laughs> and there's a little like uh, rabbit hole in there or something. Oh, I'm 
I'm slippery. <laughs> it's a chisel. I think it's a long time since that chiseled a bit of wood, but you never know I could make. That's why it's gone into the handle and that's like the cuff around the wood. We never know, I might be able to restore that. <laughs> I'm going to take it. Can you spot it? It's quite difficult. It's a cod marble, I think. I can get it. <laughs> fumble, fumble. Yeah, it's a cod marble. Can't have too many of these either. And this looks like another bit of chain. I'm going to zoom in, hang on. Look at that. Another bit of chain. I love chain, in case you didn't already know. Oh wait, what's this? I'm <laughs> standing on it nearly. It's a pipe. Oh, it's, it's that one I found before. <laughs> I turned it over and it looked whole. No, go away, go away. You see where the river has actually pulled the fence down and washed it over here. But down here looks like another cod marble. Yay! Right, you see on this bank side, these aren't human diggings. You see little holes here. They are other species, not Homo sapien. So let's go and have a look and see what they've been digging out. But luckily for us, they haven't been looking for the shiny treasures like humans do. <laughs> so we're more likely to find stuff. If we can get down here. Actually, that is my first whole bottle and there's another one under there. But what's this? I'll look at this thing first, look. What's that? It's round. Oh, it's a what? It's a clock face. It's enamel. I think I can see the remains of numbers around the edge. How oh, random! It is! It's a pocket watch! Clock face! Oh, I didn't expect it to be that. Well, I wasn't actually sure what I was expecting it to be, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. That's cool. Let's see what that bottle is there. It's got anything on it? Probably not. You know what? I was wrong! Craig? Chemist? Hoik? Oh my goodness! Hoik is a town in the Scottish borders, by the way. I know it's spelled ha wick, but it's pronounced Hoik. Craig! You know what? That is really interesting. That's not just some plain medicine bottle, that has a name and a place on it. So instantly I know we can look that up. And that's potentially going to be quite interesting. I think it's complete as well. Might have literally the teensiest, tiniest little. I can only feel it with my finger. I don't think it's got any cracks in it. Oh my goodness, I'm so pleased with that. I did not expect that. Thank you very much, uh, Badgers. What's this bottle? This just looks like a sauce bottle, though, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's like a Leon Perrin's. Just a plain sauce. Can you see anything up there? Oh, I can! And I think I know what it is. It's, well, obviously it's a pipe bowl. Can you see it? I can't really zoom in right now. I've got many, I have got any free arms. That is a Royal Antediluvian Order of the Buffalo pipe. Look, as you can see the it kind of looks like a moustache to me, but they're actually horns, they're the buffalo horns. Reminds me of a moustache look. <laughs> and up there, it kind of faintly says, uh, R-O-A-B. Royal Antediluvian Order of the Buffalo, which was a fraternal organisation, a charitable organisation. Oh, it's full of mud. <laughs> so it was worth climbing up here for that, I think. 
I'm on my way down and I couldn't miss this. And look, it's literally sitting on top of the moss. So, it must have rolled down from behind me and landed there. It's a beautiful marble. It's such a vibrant, like, blue. It's like electric blue, isn't it? It's amazing. Don't actually find many of them. So that's a very welcome find. Thank you very much. It's a bead. It's a bead. It's a bead. It's definitely a bead. Clay bead. That's quite big, actually, compared to the ones we usually find. <laughs> usually our beads are tiny. Oh, that's quite cute. I like it. I went down to look at this thing. I think it's part of the element out of an electric fire. Um, Old electric fire, but look, what's that peeping out of there? It's a tiny bead. Another bead, which I'll have to put in my special bead box. And it's another little bit of chain. Ah, oh, there's a ringy thing there. Not sure if that's a ring or just a bit of sawn off pipe. <laughs> to look at it better when it's cleaned up. It looks like another vulcanite stopper. What does that have on it? Is it a B? C B. C B. Can't see what else it says. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to show Mum that really cool bottle I just found, but I was just going to say, we found some really good things today, I think. And Mum's found several really interesting things as well. What's this? Is that a dog toy? Probably that's, um, that's quite as old as the tip, but I'll put it in my pocket to throw it away. <sighs> yeah. So, um... Hopefully I'll spot something here on the way down. It's very, very steep. That's just me. Just falling down here. Slowly. <gasps> I found this. A bit of sponge wear, look. It's got quite a pretty, like, clover pattern on it. Oh, I think I'll keep that. That's quite pretty. And, uh, I actually saw something down here is the main reason I'm here. Look, next to that little leaf, I thought it was just a, another little leaf and it's actually, I think it is, it is, it's a bead. It's a little pressed glass bead, a little green bead, I thought it was a leaf. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, hold on. That looks like a clay marble. It's not a clay marble, hold on. It's a cud marble. What's that? My fourth one, I think. Fourth? I think so. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, definitely a cod marble day today, again. And um, that's my third bead, including that little seed bead. Considering this is just a tiny little tip on a bank side, as you can see, and we've actually found a lot of stuff because we haven't been here for so long. So I think it's I had a chance for a lot of things to wash out and animals have dug lots of stuff out as well and clearly not many other people have been down here so we've been very lucky I think <laughs> and actually I think I found the garlic coming up this you can see it look I don't know. there's lots of little shoots coming up so uh, that's where the garlic's coming from the garlic smell um, we've been here later in the year before. Um, yeah, definitely seen the garlic. Oh, wait a minute, what's this down here? Mum's just there, I think she just found a bead. <laughs> but this is why I soft spotted. A glasses lens. <laughs> we've got loads of these. We will eventually make something with them. Probably jewellery related. Put something behind them maybe, like a little picture. Like, make a little silver picture frame or something. That would be really cool. That's actually quite a good idea. <laughs> Full of ideas, me. And yeah, another spot the find. A bit closer. Can you see it? 
There is, I think it's a bead. Yeah, it is. It's a bead. I'm going to zoom in. Hang on. Oh, yeah, look at that. A lovely green bead. Oh, I like that. It's like a pony bead. Great. Actually, what did I just say? Mum just found a bead. What's that? It can't be a berry because it's not berry season anymore. Oh, Mum says she's found some berries. Oh, okay. Well, this is not a berry. <laughs> I can see it wasn't because it's a little faceted bead. It's pressed though in a mould, a little red one. We found quite a few of these little like faceted red beads. Oh, found a few beads today then. Between us as well. Quite a few. By the time those poor bottles get down here, look, they're broken. Oh, I forgot to show my, my bottle actually. Hold on. So, this is the bottle I found. And look, it's got a name on it. It's a chemist bottle. Look. Oh, wow. Hoik. Craig, hoik. Yeah. It's oh got a goodness. name and a place. Isn't that good? And it's not broken either. Oh, that's something for me to look up. I know, exactly. Fantastic. We don't usually find uh, chemist bottles with like local um, places on, do we? Yeah. So, uh, we were just in Hoyk yesterday. Yeah, we were literally, yeah, we were, weren't we? We were just in Hoyk yesterday. Yeah. So, uh, that's really cool. Mum's just found now. <laughs> literally, just as I turned the camera off. Look what you, look. My bottle says Craig, yeah. It says Craig Hoyk, and look. This says Craig Hoyk. It, yeah, but it has the it first says chemist. name. It says J Craig Chemist. What on oh earth is that? So what we've got we've got it? his first name, like the letter of his first name now, J. Probably okay. like John. James. <laughs> James John. Yeah. Yeah. Jacob. Wow. What are the chances? That of is that? that's honestly the strangest coincidence because we're not actually even in Hoyk right now. We're not really anywhere near Hoyk. No, we're not. But we were there yesterday, which is weird. <laughs> we were saying, oh, it'd be nice if we found a, a dump around here. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the stuff has actually come to us, so uh, yeah, thank you. This must have been thrown out the same time as that bottle. Maybe or... it was thrown, maybe someone had been to the chemist in Hoyk. and. something written on that side, can you read that? I think that might be the maker of the oh, stopper itself, okay. yeah. That's Weird. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that is a coincidence, that is. <laughs> Bit of metal here, is it a coin? I don't know. It's like curved. Oh. I think that's where there's been a hinge look. It's a lid of some sort. Inkwell lid. <laughs> Another inkwell related thing. Hard to say. It's in here. It's on the log. But I've also found another marble. Another clay marble. I think I found three today. And also, look what's there. It's this a glass stopper what's it, what does it say holbrooks limited there we go a random collection we've got a doll's ear a mopple and a stopple bopper what more could you want in life honestly <laughs> okay i just moved my foot and i was standing on this not in very good condition especially after i've stood on it i don't think it's a coin it's too light it doesn't even feel like, I don't know, it's really thin. Maybe it was a dog tag or something. I'll take it just in case I can see anything on it, but yeah. This might be one of my last finds of the day. And it's a lovely bottle stop. Oh, it's got something on it. I think it's Holbrook. I think it's Holbrook. Sauce, probably Worcestershire sauce. So I almost forgot, didn't I? To clean this off. Oh, what does it say? I don't know. Is it a picture? It says something, definitely. And there's a picture of a guy there, look. Can you see him? Looks like he's got a fez. Oh yeah. And uh... What does it say? It says, General. Um, and that kind of looks like a Swedish flag, but it can't be. General someone, Gordon? Oh, General Gordon. Yeah, there was a General Gordon. 
I think that's probably supposed to be an English flag, but it yeah, kind of looks... looks like the uh, St. George Cross. Uh, yeah, George Cross, that's it. So, uh, yeah, um, who's oh. he? I guess we'll have to find that out later. General Gordon, I've yeah. heard of him before. who's General Gordon? Not found one of those before. I know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that See, is cool. the squirty bottle came in yeah, handy. Yeah, it did actually come in handy. Although I do like to get home and rediscover things. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is a little bit and it's quite a <laughs> we, lot chose, of... we chose quite a big one. Yeah. <laughs> That's because it was already under the yeah. sink. Mm. <laughs> it's one of those reusable bottles. So we know what it says, but we, we don't we don't know what it means. No. So we've got to General Gordon, I've definitely heard of him. Yeah. Okay. But I couldn't tell you anything about him. Well, let's He's get just home another then. one of these uh, people with the big moustache that yeah. went around killing people in the 19th century. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. In places they had no business being. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not just the yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> So here is our massive hall of finds. What a surprising Who knew day it? on that tiny little Hello. bank side. Um, it really blew us away. We didn't think we were going to find anything there, which why, which is why we haven't been there for such a long time. But yeah, yeah it here pays it is. not to go somewhere for a while. It does, yeah, pretty clearly, yeah. So uh, we're going to talk about a few things on the table. Firstly, the pipe that said General Gordon. Mum found out who General Gordon was. So uh, General Gordon was Charles George Gordon, who was born in Woolwich in Kent, England in 1833. He grew up partly in Scotland, actually. His father was a major general, so it seems Charles was destined to a life in the British Army. He rose to fame when he was placed in command of the ever victorious army. A force of Chinese soldiers led by European officers, which were instrumental in putting down the Taiping Rebellion, regularly defeating much larger forces. For these accomplishments, he was given the nickname Chinese Gordon and honours from both the Emperor of China and the British. So, um, yeah. that is quite <clears throat> unusual. It is. So, uh, yeah, so we were right. He was, um, it's strange to find, um, such an English pipe. In well, Scotland. he did partly grow up in yeah. Scotland, and I but think it has got the say, English flag on the other didn't side. Didn't he say he was even an island? Grew up in Ireland? As well? Yeah, he was all over the was place. All over the place. I think he was guy. in Africa poking his nose as yeah. usual. So into we were other right. We were right. Oh, I yeah. guess we were right. It's yeah. a, a, another British man poking his nose into other countries' business again. Yeah. Which, yeah, unfortunately, you see a lot Although in our history. He did have especially something to do time. with um, stopping some of the slave trade in Africa, which was good. I see, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. I suppose. Um, but that kind of reminds me of like um, a Dutch flag. The Dutch, or, the, or like a Swedish flag or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's well, like it's... an off centre, but it's obviously a George Cross. Yeah. St. George Cross, but it's anyway. Because, yeah. yeah, look, doesn't it look the slightly off-centre, though? It's probably just the person making the pipe yeah, that did that. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, what else are we going to talk about? So, yeah, there's this strange metal thing that I found, and it's cleaned up really well, actually. Yeah. It's got some sort of gilding in the background. 
behind the relief of these buildings. And at first I thought Houses of Parliament, but it turns out because you can just see some minute writing there and a word here, that this picture at least is um, the Mariscal College in Aberdeen. How weird. So it's possibly part of a larger plaque yeah. um, that probably de depicted landmarks of Aberdeen, the city of Aberdeen in Scotland. So this was part of another building. It has got more writing, but it's very difficult to see. Yeah, you can't or really... is it? I think it's up here somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, you can't yeah. read it. Um, this bit came off. And it looks it, like there was something here as well. But that's yeah, gone. this is an edge and this is an edge. So <clears throat> not sure how big it was. Could have been massive. Yeah, it could, could have, been, have been tiny. But yeah, I think it had different pictures of places in Aberdeen on it. What what it was, who knows? A yeah. plaque, the lid of something. If you know what this might have been part of. I think it's quite heavy, actually, yeah, isn't it? I think it's made of pewter or some sort of zinc alloy which is very brittle at the moment. Yeah. So. But turn, I, I think it's wonderful with all this detail. Yeah. It's really detailed. Unusual thing. So, yeah, what it was, who knows? Yeah. And now this, which I am absolutely dumbfounded to find because, uh -huh. as we said, I've found two of these before and it is from the same person and that was James Bennett who made school desks. And we found this in another part of Scotland, the other two. Um, quite a way away, actually. Yeah, it is, yeah. actually, yeah. Um, but here it is, the third one. And the first two we actually sent to a descendant of this um, James Bennett, his great-great-granddaughter, yeah. Caroline, in Canada. And uh, here is a picture of her holding the two, oh, yes. the first two that we found. And restored, because mum restored one of them, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. With a picture of James himself. And she was absolutely over the moon to receive these because she had been researching her family history. And um, yeah, so I'm going to put a link to the first video of when we found the first two um, in the description. So you can go there. Yeah. And and learn all about this uh, man who made school desks, travelled to Canada, came back to Glasgow. Later, his family returned to Canada. And they're still there. Yeah. <laughs> with Caroline. So, yeah. And uh, this this is cleaned up now. And this twists and turns. It, it flips around that side so you can access the ink within the little pot. Yeah. I really loved the first two pots, but I, I was determined to send them to that descendant yeah. because if someone like, sent me something my ancestor oh, don't, I'd be over the moon. That would be amazing. But now we've got one to keep for ourselves. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. That'll go in our cabinet of curiosities. Yeah. It feels like a little gift. Yeah. Maybe a, a little gift from uh, from James. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a thank you gift. A thank you for sending the other two to his to family. To his, his uh, granddaughter, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we've got an interesting bottle here, of course, which you just saw us find. Um, this has cleaned up beautifully. Yeah. Mum's done an amazing job of cleaning this out. Some bottles just do clean up really nice. Yeah, no sickness, nice and shiny. Actually, Ooh. it was quite difficult. The stuff inside was still in, dried on. And oh, it was like yeah. glue. <laughs> I kind of like this aqua colour. Yeah, it was probably well. some sort of lung tonic. So, uh Mum also happened to have found this, which you also saw, which gives us the first letter of his first name, the yeah. initial J. J. Craig. This just says Craig, so it's yeah, Craig yeah. Chemist's Hoik, or Chemist Hoik. Okay, so this is John Craig, born in Ayrshire in 1836, and he first appears in Hoik at the age of 25 as a druggist. And by 1871, he has a shop at 17 High Street, Hoyk, and is a chemist, druggist, and aerated water manufacturer. Um, he took on his son, John, as his apprentice in 1881, and it was he who carried on the business into the 20th century. So there's a little yeah. bit about John and his son, John. And... <laughs> 
jumping on the aerated water. Oh yeah, which was incredibly think. popular. Yeah, yeah. So and that's, that must be where the lid comes into it. Yeah. So this that which is quite interesting. Yeah. So this is the lid of the aerated water. Yeah. This would have been a a fizzy drink yeah. like a soda, as you'd say yeah. in America, or pop that you'd say over here. And this they was pop the, in America. Are they still pop in America? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, and this would have been medicine. So we've got the the aerated mortar and the medicine. Yeah, so that's really cool. That connect to that story. Yeah, so, what a coincidence, um, finding two I know. from the same place. Yeah. yeah, and straight after I showed you that bottle. Anyway, yeah. that's a really cool little uh, connection. So a few uh, honourable mentions, I think, so, a few interesting things. Yeah, of course, a little collection of beads, but the bead Alex found... Oh, bead of the day. I think is a trade bead. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see sort of the surface on there. It's really quite well worn, and that's the kind of wear you get with the use. Yes, yeah. So it's interesting that where we found it was near a harbour where ships took immigrants out to America and the ship would have, ships would have gone back and forth. Yeah. Was it a trade bead traded to the American native people? And then did someone buy, you know, buy or acquire a souvenir and bring it back? Or is it... And then it got lost, thrown out over it, the Well, years. it could, could be a trade bead from any country. Or maybe yeah. it wasn't used as a trade bead at all. Yeah, but it's, it's quite worn. It's... Actually it's worn a lot. Very dark red glass. Yeah. Which is how they used to make. And it's handmade. So can you see it's not quite yeah. even. It's all wonky. It's so this so would have been hand wound. Beautifully wonky. Onto a mandrel. Yeah. yeah. And the higher surfaces are more worn. So yeah, a beautiful little bead. Um, which could be, be quite old. Yeah. Mm. Could be Venetian or even Dutch. Not sure. Sometimes yeah. it's really difficult to say with it just is. a plain bead. <laughs> Isn't You've it? got to put all the clues together, haven't you? Yeah, like bead the wear, archaeology. The bead shape, archaeology. the way it's been made. So yeah, it could be a couple of hundred years old. I so love that. So that is a fantastic find. I absolutely love it. Oh, and underneath it here is that bit of chain cleaned up. It's all twisted. Yes, Quite it's like beautiful. That. It's like a rope. Well, yeah. definitely have to, you'll definitely have to have make to that make to make jewelry. Yeah. So we've actually got six cod marbles, which is surprising. Our I cod know. marble jar is it's mad this year. It's, I know, honestly, it's only it's February. February. Uh, yeah, it's only February. Anyway, uh, we've got our little button thing here. And I thought it was a button, but um, on close inspection, I don't think it's a button at all. And we actually think it's silver. This is a piece of silver, um, probably a piece of silver jewellery. Yeah. So it appears it's had something glued in the middle, probably some sort of stone, some sort of paste stone. Cabochon. Cabochon, yeah. or something like that. You can kind of see the glue yeah. there still, can't you? Um, and on the back, there are these little holes. I think it might have had a piece of wire across where it could be threaded onto a ribbon and possibly used as a neck choker. Yeah, it's been sewn under yeah. something by the, by the looks of it because it doesn't seem as if it's broken off anything. No. Um, but yeah, that's actually silver. I was a bit confused when I found it. I was yeah. like, is it plastic? Because it's, it's hollow. It's hollow, yeah. yeah. It's not, it's not so like it's heavy. it's really light. So yeah, that's actually silver, which is, I've got a, a piece of precious metal. <laughs> It's like Peter Piper. Oh, just quickly, the metal. Um, this has actually got a woman on it. And it's, it was... It's, yeah, you can't see it. It's a Art Nouveau. See. And I think this is probably part of a belt. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it linked together. Would have been different panels all over it. Something like that. It's very Art like Nouveau that, look, yeah. looking. Um, and Mum found this button, which was just a... I thought it was a lid. It's got a pattern on it. But it's not. It's but look how corroded it is. It's yeah. just knackered. Um, and this heart-shaped thing, sadly, has nothing on it. It's just plain. And we're not sure what it actually is. Could have been a hat pin. It might have had something stuck to the front. Yeah. Um, not sure. Has it been, it's been some sort of embellishment on something. Or yeah. Who knows? If you know, you know what to do. <laughs> and uh, finally... I think you wanted to mention this strange yeah, clay this strange clay tube um i'm not saying it is but it's got can you see the sheen on there it's like burnished yeah it's it not is, glazed actually. it's burnished and it reminds me so much of roman samian wear yeah 
it just has that look, the same burnished look about it. But what it is, who knows? It's broken off something here. This end is... Uh, Could it be have some sort end. of pipe or something? Yeah, I don't know what it is. If anyone has any ideas, we'd love to know. Yeah. Maybe someone was ploughing a field and found a bit of Roman something. And brought it home. And Who knows? And the wife was like, <laughs> what's this rubbish? And chucked it in the bin. Um, but yeah, who knows? Um, but yeah, uh, we've got a whole selection of really interesting things today. And it was a real surprise. We didn't think we were going to find much at all. No, but we managed to get a whole haul out of it. So Sometimes there you go. in the most unlikely places you, you know, have a good day. You so. do. Yeah, we should get that on a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I suppose we'll see you again next, next week. week.